I grew up watching it. I always thought it was easy until I stepped on this field. It's taught me a lot about like pushing my boundaries and seeing how far I can go. We've put in so much dedication and hard work and I hope that pays off. Forward, Harch! We definitely push a lot more than we do for the season because we're pushing fundamentals. We have a little more pressure on us and I think that's going to really motivate everybody. It's definitely not just walking around the field. We put so much work into exactly where you're going to step, what you're going to play, where your arm should be. This is my favorite part of the year. It's band season. It means something you to have somewhere to grow with people that are all shooting for the same thing. Everyone is working so hard to put together this once in a lifetime group project that nobody else in the world, nobody else can make, can create. It's just us. There are going to be times when you want to quit, you want to throw the towel in, but just keep with it because the payoff is indescribable. This time of year once again marks high school championship season here in Colorado. But have you ever thought about all the practice it takes to get ready to compete? Over the summer when the focus was on hard work and dedication, high schoolers across the state were practicing on football fields just like this one with hopes of bringing home a state title in the fall. But these aren't student athletes, they're marching band members. Hi, I'm your host Byron Reed and our show Hearts of Champions Marching Across Colorado is meant to give some insight into how some of the state's marching bands are thriving this year with support from their communities and schools, while other music programs are suffering due to budget cuts. Back in March, students at Pomona High School organized a walkout at their school, protesting cuts to the school's arts programs like music, journalism, and other electives. The school, known for its instrumental music program, announced it was also cutting its band director position due to dropping enrollment. Jeffco Public Schools called the move an alignment of teachers to fulfill student course requests. The district, in a statement, said, Students who signed up for instrumental and vocal music courses will have the opportunity to take these courses from excellent music teachers who are shared among multiple school campuses. It's an issue that band directors are trying to fix. As long as we can continue to build meaningful relationships with kids and encourage them to you know, come out of their shells a little bit and, and discover who they are a little bit better, I think that we're going to continue to thrive and I hope that other music and arts programs around the state are able to do the same. So I packed up my gear and traveled across the state to high school marching band camps. These two-week camps usually happen in the grueling heat of late July or early August where students learn how to march, play their instruments, dance and spin flags for their competitive show. I wanted to see how these Colorado marching bands and their communities were getting in step with what it takes to have hearts of champions. A legacy of hard work and dedication can be found on football fields across Colorado. The very first one was in 1975 and it was at Westminster High School. A growing tradition that Rick Shaw got to see firsthand. 1980 was the first state championship. It was held at what was then Thornton High School. This year, high schoolers are working hard to make their own history by bringing home a state title in the fall. Just a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement. We're ready to do this and we want to make it the best we got. We're, we're jumping back in and we're rolling. But this isn't a tryout for any team sport. This is band camp. This is my favorite part of the year. It's band season. Kids have been working hard on music, working on learning visual basics, learning choreography, learning drill, kind of putting all of the pieces together. It's pretty physically demanding, especially when we're normally about 90 to 100 degrees almost every single day. The leadership, the dedication, the discipline that it builds is very much like what takes place on the athletic fields. Rick Shaw is the chairman of Marching Affairs for the Colorado Bandmasters Association. We run about 95 uh, competitive programs through our sanctioned shows each season. He says it's their goal to make sure each student gets the most out of their marching experience. Those kids who are out there are giving a hundred percent or more and ex more than excited to perform for the audience. <laughs> Students like to be dedicated to the program because they know they're coming together to create something that's bigger than themselves. 
marching bands say they're ready to face whatever challenges may lie ahead. And last year we graduated the largest graduating class from the marching band that we've had in a long time, which was 24 students. Being a small school, none of the students can hide on the field. They all have to contribute. It's taught me a lot about like pushing my boundaries and seeing how far I can go because I know like like my freshman self probably would have been like, I don't want to do any of this. And after their competitive season last year. We were state runner ups uh, in 3A for the State Marching Band Festival. We ended up fourth in 4A last year. Third place, third place at state. My freshman year we won state and I definitely like to be in that gold medal position again this year. <laughs> These marching members are motivated to create their own legacies by getting in step with what it takes to have the heart of a champion. Because I know this is my last chance, I'm gonna do as much as I can to get to the top. Nobody else will be able to perform this show ever again, so it's very important that we get this right. Our best hope every year is to go and do our final performance and have them have the greatest feeling after they perform and feel like they have accomplished something that they haven't done before. And I'm just super excited to be in front of an audience and see their reaction to this show. Coming up next. Before the first bell, some Colorado high school students spent weeks getting ready. They know they're coming together to create something that's bigger than themselves. Dedicated marching band members at Pine Creek High School want every student to feel supported. It was really hard and it was like one of my lowest points that I've been through and it was really nice to look forward to something. And the big comeback this high schooler didn't think was possible. Welcome back. On the first stop of our tour, we go down to Colorado Springs to visit the Pine Creek Eagle High School Marching Band. This group of students was hard at work practicing for their upcoming season with a drum major that's carrying on a family tradition and a school that's giving them some renewed support. For high school drum major Tyler Allen. This is my favorite part of the year. Laying the groundwork for a memorable senior year started at home. My brothers, they're twins. They were in band all four years of their high school. And then my sister, who's in band right now, is a freshman. Alan has been marching since he was in middle school. Now he's one of the drum majors for the Pine Creek Eagle Marching Band. The group of about 100 students is getting ready for their upcoming competitive season with some renewed support. It's really awesome to be able to have the support from all our administration. For a few years, we didn't have as much support, but we have a new principal this year, and she is like really enthusiastic about band. Performing arts are really important, I think, for educating the whole child. Kathleen Rayfield is an assistant principal at the high school. She says it's their mission to make sure every student feels supported. Performing arts is where a lot of kids feel that they can end up belonging and they can be part of a team and that's one of the really important things for kids. Performing arts really helps support academic excellence. So that's that whole brain, whole child um, development for kids. They want us to be the best we can be, and they're ready to do what they can to support that. Kate Margrave is one of the school's band directors. She says that support also helps students feel connected. They come to our, our performances. They show up at our concerts. They show up at rehearsal. They just come over to say hello to the students. So students like to be dedicated to the program because they know they're coming together to create something that's bigger than themselves. Last year, this marching band finished fourth in the 4A state finals. This year, the school will be moving up to compete for the 5A title. These band members say that's their motivation. Everyone is working so hard to put together this once in a lifetime group project that nobody else in the world, nobody else can make, can create. It's just us. On the last day of the last performance, we just put it out there, it's like an ice sculpture, and then it just melts away and we never do it again. 
It's an experience that Tyler Allen hopes he can share with his classmates. And I think that's going to really motivate everybody to do even better than we ever have. With support from his school and family to make it a senior year, he won't forget. My main goal this year is to be able to talk to as many people as I can, form as many bonds, and just be able to have an amazing experience with everybody included in the band. And relax. On the second stop of our tour, we go up to Windsor, Colorado to visit the Pride of Windsor Marching Band. This group of students spent their time at band camp making connections both on and off the field. It's that feeling of family that got their drum major through a tough time. This is Jasmine Perry Grice, my eldest, Jade Perry Grice, Joy Perry Grice, and Joelle Perry Grice. They make up part of one passionate family. <laughs> that makes Jennifer Grice one proud parent. I feel like it's been a blessing to be able to teach each of my children um, at this level to get to have those personal conversations. One, two. Grice is the former band director at Windsor High School. It's where her daughters grew up with a love of music. As they were little kids, we used to take the, the stroller out and they would just sit watching the marching band. So literally, since they were babies, I really love it. Jennifer's daughter, Joy, is now the marching band's drum major. It's a role she didn't think was possible for her to play a few weeks ago. I had scoliosis, and so the first surgery, we corrected it. And this surgery, we took out the rods and stuff. Joy says it was her friends in the marching band that got her through a tough time. It was really hard, and it was like one of my lowest points that I've been through, and it was really nice to look forward to something. The great thing about the Windsor Band is just one big family. It's called the Sassy Walk. One, two, three, four. That feeling of family is now pushing these students to prepare for their competitive marching season. And we work on marching, and then we do bonding activities. With a combination of hard work, and teamwork. It just generally helps the band be more connected. So if we have all the sections connected personally, then it's just going to like translate onto the field. Last year, this marching band finished second in the 3A state finals. This year, they're hoping to bring home a state title despite a drop in their numbers. This family of 47 marching members say that's their motivation. And last year, we graduated the largest graduating class from the marching band that we've had in a long time, which was 24 students. Even though it's gotten smaller, we have this big sound and we've learned to just work with our small band. A small band that's receiving support from their community. Local businesses stepped up to help subsidize their marching program. We really want everybody to be able to be involved and some people can't afford it. So we want to make sure that the fees are low enough that everybody feels that they're included. This drum major hopes the hard work and dedication pays off. I really hope that we just do our best at competitions, no matter what place we get. While knowing what really matters is her marching band family, both on and off the field. I was really scared for marching band, like what I would be able to do, and I was scared I wouldn't be able to conduct, but here I am and I'm back. <laughs> The Pride of Windsor marching band is exactly that. It's the Pride of Windsor. Fans dismiss Windsor Pride! And coming up next, a big dream for a small marching band. Like we don't have as much, so we can't get away with as much. We have to make sure that we do everything right. The support from their community is giving them the extra push they need to win a state title. Welcome back. In southeastern Colorado, the town of Rocky Ford is known for its cantaloupes, but there's a renewed community spirit around the marching band that has residents there doing good. On the third stop of our tour, we visit the Rocky Ford Marching Meloneers to see how this small marching band is getting big time help from neighbors. In the southeastern town of Rocky Ford, 
get the sense that community pride is as rich as the farmland found there. It's because we grow melons down here. <laughs> uh, the mascot is the melonier. Uh, we call him the melon man. I mean, it's basically just a watermelon with arms and legs with an angry face. <laughs> Jonathan Colson is the director of music at Rocky Ford Junior Senior High School. Here we go, set. He says that community spirit has caught the attention of his students. We're driving two plus hours anywhere we go, um, and all of our manufacturing lets us use their cargo trailer every year for transportation for, of our equipment. We have a small t-shirt business and that donates shirts every year to the kids. A lot of schools don't get that, and to have people pushing to have the marching band be helped is amazing. Liliana Mays is a senior in the Rocky Ford Melonier Marching Band, a group of about 30 people putting in hard work during summer band camp. They're learning how to march, play instruments, and spin flags to get ready for the competitive season. We're able to hit the forms, the visuals, and we're starting to add music. One, two, three, four. We still put in a lot of effort into our work, and we make sure that we do all of the things we do to multitask and to be able to put on a good show. May says because they're a smaller marching band, they must work harder than most schools. Like we don't have as much so we can't get away with as much. We have to make sure that we do everything right. None of the students can hide on the field. They all have to contribute to the sound and what you see from the stands. Not only are they smaller, they have younger students. I always just ask for improvement, especially since we're a seven through 12 marching band. And still, they're pushing to get better. There's definitely more dedication, motivation after coming off such a great year last year. Last year, this marching band finished third in the 1A state finals. This year, the marching Meloneers are hoping to get a taste of the state title. It's an experience that's been recently renewed for these students. It is pretty much brand new ensemble at the school. Um, we started it back in 2018 after about 15 years of no marching band at the school. These marching members are dedicated to find the right recipe for success. I keep trying to push them to just be better than last time. To give their band of supporters another reason to be proud. It's super nice to have businesses to support us financially, parents that come out and donate their time to help set up for competitions. It means a lot. <laughs> Coming up next. Learning life lessons one step at a time. There are going to be times when you want to quit, you want to throw the towel in, but just keep with it because the payoff is indescribable. Meet the marching band setting their sights on a state championship this season. Welcome back. Getting the most out of students is the goal for educators inside the classroom, but there's a different kind of learning taking place on football fields across the state. On our final stop of our tour, we go up to Fort Collins to visit Fossil Ridge High School to see how their band members are learning lifelong lessons through marching. For most students, high school marching band is a time for learning and growth. And making sure you don't hit other people when you're doing it, because, yeah, I've hit my fair share of people <laughs> while spinning. <laughs> Taylor Johnson is a senior in the Fossil Ridge High School Marching Band. Um, I'm the captain of the color guard team this year. For Taylor, joining the band four years ago was her chance to not only meet new people. I need more friends coming into high school anyways. But to also learn a skill. It's not as easy as it looks, for sure. I think because a lot of people think, oh, it's just spinning a flag. But it's way harder than it looks, I think. My freshman self probably would have been like, I don't want to do any of this. Now, Johnson has started her senior year by putting in hard work during summer band camp with her classmates. The group of about 120 students learned how to march, play instruments, and spin flags for the competitive marching season. They've been working incredibly hard and we're super proud of them. Aaron Herman is the school's director of bands he says he's happy to see this amount of dedication from his students. Kids have been working hard on music, working on learning visual basics, learning 
choreography, learning drill, kind of putting all of the pieces together. And now we're here and it's almost surreal to see all of the pieces of the puzzle coming together and seeing our students really dig in and, and achieve at a high level. Not only are we dancing and marching, we're also sprinting up and down these fields, doing stretches, bonding as a team. It's just truly a magical thing on how, how well you can bond with people in such a short time. Last year, this marching band finished second in the 5A state finals, losing by less than one point. This year, they're setting their expectations high again, going for a state title win. These students say they want to surpass last year's close finish. We got second in state, but coming back from COVID, having the show that we had and the product that we had was truly magical. I'm just really excited to elevate it, turn it up to 11 this year. 10, 15 years from now, most students aren't necessarily going to remember uh, the placement or the results, uh, but they're going to remember how band made them feel and the emotions and excitement that came with those experiences. It's a goal that Taylor Johnson hopes will continue to bring this marching band closer together. It's a really big bonding experience, I think. And give her the confidence to take center stage her senior year. It's taught me a lot about like pushing my boundaries and seeing how far I can go. And Fossil Ridge High School achieved their goal this year by winning the Colorado Bandmasters Association 5A state title. Congratulations to them and all the state's marching bands for a successful season. We hope this show's given you some perspective into how some Colorado marching bands are succeeding this year with help from their communities and shed some light on the students most only see perform at halftime on Friday nights. On behalf of drone pilot Tom Cole and myself, thank you for joining us once again.